Madam Chair, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I bring warm greetings from the people and the government of Kiribati, one of the low-lying Hato countries on the front line of climate change. Living on a small, scattered, isolated island poses many challenges. The extreme fragile environment and the narrow resource base that we depend on means that we are constantly faced with risks on a day-to-day -day basis. Kiribati is extremely vulnerable to climate induced assets. Increasingly, communities in Kiribati are being affected by coastal erosion and seawater inundation, and have been calling on government to help them relocate to an unaffected sites. Two years ago, my president, His Ex Excellency Anand Tong, was present here at the second session of this platform to show our commitment and resolve in engaging with the international community to address the risks and challenges that are now being compounded by the ever-increasing impact of climate change. We are grateful for ISTR for organizing this conference, a mechanism for us to share our experience, learn from each other, and most importantly, to help each other. Madam Chair, against that backdrop, please allow me to briefly report on some of the initiatives that have been undertaken or to be undertaken shortly as a measure of Kiribati's dedication to achieving the commitment uh, made then. Let me also thank our partners who have supported us in these in initiatives. Strengthening disaster risk management and mainstreaming both DRR and climate change adaptation into national planning has been the focus of our government activities since the last two years. To realize this, the government of Kiribati had set up a national policy unit within the office of the president in late 2009 with primary focus on oversight and coordination of climate change and adaptation and disaster risk activities among the various stakeholders in the country. Undertakings to review DRM arrangement and developing a national action plan for disaster risk management are reaching their final stages. It is a matter of months before this is finalized and endorsed for implementation. Please allow me to thank the Applied Geoscience and Technology Division, SOPAC, of the Secretariat of the Pacific Community for the unrelenting support given to this initiative. Madam Chair, these are but a few examples of our undertakings to realize the commitment we made. We know, however, that our circumstances as a small island state would never have allowed us to carry out these initiatives alone. Without the support from regional, multilateral partners, we, as small as and vulnerable countries, would not be able to deal with the increasing risks and the challenges that are now being compounded by the impact of climate change. For the future, we see that there are more opportunities to combine our efforts in climate change adaptation and DRM. We acknowledge that there is now great emphasis to integrate both approaches to dealing with risks posed by natural assets and have witnessed escalation of efforts in the Pacific Island countries in this regard. We in Kiribati see the merit of doing likewise and have embarked on, a, on setting what we believe to be strong foundation for similar undertakings in future. We support the existing global and Pacific regional emphasis for integrated approaches to climate change adaptation and disaster risk management and ask that this platform encourage more donors and development partners to assist these endeavors in our small island developing states in the Pacific. I thank you, Madam Chair.